Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Bir adam ve kadın konuşuyorlar. Adam şimdi kaç yaşında? Doğum günün çok yakında. Evet, ertesi gün. Kaç yaşına gireceksin? 60'a giriyorum. Tebrikler, kutlayalım. Çok teşekkür ederim. Adam şimdi kaç yaşında? Bir adam ve kadın konuşuyorlar. Adam şimdi kaç yaşında? Doğum günün çok yakında. Evet, ertesi gün. Kaç yaşına gireceksin? 60'a giriyorum. Tebrikler, kutlayalım. Çok teşekkür ederim. First you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Bir adam ve kadın konuşuyorlar. Hangi saate bakıyorlar ve saat kaç? Saat kaç? Bilmiyorum. Bugün saatimi unuttum. Trene yetişebilecek miyiz diye endişeleniyorum. İstasyonun girişinde bir saat var. İyi. A. Tren 5 dakika sonra geliyor. Bu saat 10 treni değil mi? Evet. Acele etsek iyi olur. Hangi saate bakıyorlar ve saat kaç? Bir adam ve kadın konuşuyorlar. Hangi saate bakıyorlar ve saat kaç? Saat kaç? Bilmiyorum. Bugün saatimi unuttum. Trene yetişebilecek miyiz diye endişeleniyorum. İstasyonun girişinde bir saat var. İyi. A. Tren 5 dakika sonra geliyor. Bu saat 10 treni değil mi? Evet. Acele etsek iyi olur. First you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Bir adam ve kadın konuşuyorlar. Partiye toplamda kaç kişi gelecek? Parti yarın. Kimler geliyor? İkimiz, benim iki arkadaşım ve hoca. Beş etti. Ha, hoca eşiyle birlikte geliyor. Tamam. Partiye toplamda kaç kişi gelecek? Bir adam ve kadın konuşuyorlar. Partiye toplamda kaç kişi gelecek? Parti yarın. Kimler geliyor? İkimiz, benim iki arkadaşım ve hoca. Beş etti. Ha, hoca eşiyle birlikte geliyor. Tamam. In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in Turkey. Hazır mısınız? Are you ready? Hadi başlayalım o zaman. So let's start then. The most used informal greeting is Selam. Se-lam. Selam means hi or hello. Because it's so casual, we should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. If you're greeting someone you don't know, you should use a more formal phrase. Merhaba. Mer-ha-ba. Merhaba means hi or hello too. If you want to make the greeting a little bit more formal, you can say iyi günler. 
İyi günler. İyi günler means good morning and good afternoon. In fact, you can use it all day, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say iyi akşamlar. İyi akşamlar. In an informal parting situation, Turkish people use güle güle. Güle güle. Güle güle means goodbye. Finally, in Turkish, we have an expression meaning hope to see you soon. That can be considered both formal and informal. Görüşmek üzere. Görüşmek üzere. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Turkish. Let's review them all again. When meeting older people or someone we don't know, merhaba. When meeting friends or relatives, selam. When greeting people from morning to afternoon, iyi günler. When greeting people in the evening, iyi akşamlar. When living in an informal situation, güle güle. When living in a formal or an informal situation, görüşmek üzere. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Zehra's insights. If you can't remember how to say goodbye in Turkish, you can just say bye bye. Bye, bye. This expression is pretty casual, but at least nobody in Turkey will have any trouble understanding you. Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Turkish. You can do it with only two sentences. But first, it is important to clarify that in Turkish, there is a difference between the formal and the informal language. Let's first see how Turkish people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Selam. Ben Zehra. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Hi, I'm Zehra. Nice to meet you. Selam. Ben Zehra. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Start by saying, Selam. Ben. Then say your name. Selam. Ben Zehra. Finally, say, Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Selam. Ben Zehra. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. And now, let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Merhaba. Ben... Zehra Özdemir. Tanıştığımıza çok memnun oldum. Hi, I'm Zehra Özdemir. Nice to meet you. Merhaba, ben Zehra Özdemir. Tanıştığımıza çok memnun oldum. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at this together. Selam has been substituted with the formal greeting. Merhaba. Turkish for hi. Ben Zehra hasn't been changed. In both cases, ben means I am. However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name. So I said Zehra Özdemir. Here you would say your full name. Finally, pay attention to the ending. We went from tanıştığımıza memnun oldum to tanıştığımıza çok memnun oldum. We have just added the Turkish word for very. In a formal sentence, saying it is very nice to meet you will make it even more polite. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Turkish is Selam. Ben Zehra. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. The formal way to introduce yourself is Merhaba, ben Zehra Özdemir. Tanıştığımıza çok memnun oldum. Now, it's time for Zehra's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. And don't worry too much about using çok when you meet with people. You won't get in trouble if you simply say Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. As I said at the beginning of this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. 
Hazır mısınız? Are you ready? Hadi başlayalım o zaman. So let's start then. There are several ways to thank someone. So let's start with the easiest. It is just one word. Teşekkürler. Te -she -kür -ler. Teşekkürler means thanks. Another casual way of saying thanks is sal. Sal. When saying thank you, you just need to use teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Ederim means I give. So teşekkür ederim is like saying I give my thanks. In the last lesson, we mentioned both the informal and the formal way of speaking Turkish. If you want to be more formal, there is another phrase you should use. Çok teşekkür ederim. Çok teşekkür ederim. Let's break this phrase down. Teşekkür ederim means I give my thanks. You probably remember çok from the last lesson. It means very. And when we add it to the phrase, it strengthens teşekkür ederim and makes it more formal. How do you answer when someone thanks you? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is bir şey değil. Bir şey değil. Bir şey değil literally means it's nothing. You're saying that there's nothing worth thanking you for. The other way to say you're welcome is the expression sorun değil. Sorun değil. Literally, this phrase means no problem, but it has become a common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So, when someone says teşekkürler to you, simply reply with bir şey değil or sorun değil. Now, it's time for Zehra's insights. If you're not sure about whether to say teşekkürler or çok teşekkür ederim, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Teşekkürler can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. Merhaba. Merhaba. Nasılsın? İyiyim, teşekkürler. Ya sen? Ben de iyiyim. Sağ ol. Merhaba. Benim adım Hakan. Merhaba. Ben de Merve. Tanıştığıma çok memnun oldum. Ben de memnun oldum. Bora sizden çok bahsetti. Evet, sizden de. Sonunda tanışabildik. Merhaba, lütfen içeri buyurun. Teşekkürler. Bu benden ufak bir hediye. Lütfen kabul edin. Ah, çok teşekkür ederim. Rica ederim. Ah, ah affedersiniz. Evet. Ayağım. Ah, çok özür dilerim. Fark etmedim. İyi misiniz? Tamam, önemli değil. Şimdi daha iyiyim. İyi akşamlar. İyi akşamlar. Menü alabilir miyim? Elbette. Ayrıca su alabilir miyim lütfen? Hemen efendim. Sipariş de vermek istiyorum. Evet. Buyurun. 10 phrases you always want to hear. Bugün harika görünüyorsun. You look great today. Okay, the first one. Bugün harika görünüyorsun. You look great today. Well, then it's really um, a great phrase to increase your motivation, I think. You can say it to your girlfriend, um, your mother. I mean, everyone you love. So it's, it's a very... Nice Turkish phrase, I think. It will make everyone happy, believe me. Seni özlüyorum. I miss you. Seni özlüyorum. I miss you. Well, actually, it is a nice phrase and it is kind of sad that you're missing someone. Mm, seni özlüyorum. Uh, or you can say after seni özlüyorum. Seni görmek istiyorum. I want to see you. So it will increase the effect of the first phrase. Seni özlüyorum. Seni görmek istiyorum.
I miss you, I want to see you. Harika bir iş çıkardın. You did a great job. Harika bir iş çıkardın. You did a great job. I like to hear that from my boss or from my teacher at school. Harika bir iş çıkardın. Ayın sonunda bir ikramiye verilecek. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Ayın sonunda bir ikramiye verilecek. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. İkramiye, um, it's a wonderful word, first of all, let me say. And uh, we say bonus too. But the spelling, uh, the pronunciation is a bit different for us. We say bonus or ikramiye. Both are same, same meaning. But I think bonus uh, comes from the English one. But both are, because have the same meaning, you can use both. So, ikramiye verilecek, bonus verilecek, same meaning. Biraz dinlen. Temizliği bugün ben yapacağım. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Biraz dinlen. Temizliği bugün ben yapacağım. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Oh, it's wonderful. Please do. There are so many things to do, right? I mean, especially uh, in Turkish houses, like we have, we like large houses. So there are lots of things to do in terms of cleaning, I think, cleaning, washing and everything. So if someone tells you like, take a break, I'll do the cleaning today. It's like, oh, thank you. Awesome. So, bugün ben yapacağım. Sen dinlenebilirsin. It means you can take a break. Ve sen kazandın. And you win. Ve sen kazandın. And you win. What would you like to win? I would like to win a competition, actually. I like to compete. So, you can say someone, like, who win a competition, a contest. Ve sen kazandın. Or lottery. Like, if you win lottery, you can use the same phrase again. Ve sen kazandın. Haklıydın. You were right. Haklıydın. You were right. Um, this is, I'm sure, um, Turkish girls will understand me again. Because, like, we would like to hear that we are right. Or Turkish guys think that we'd like to hear we are right. So it is also another cliche phrase in Turkish. Like, uh, you want, you just want to hear you're right. Mm, I think that's why they think it will make us happy to hear. Ve sen haklısın. Haklıydın. You were right. Sana özel bir şey getirdim. I brought you something special. Sana özel bir şey getirdim. I brought you something special. It can be a present, right? So we say hediye, arman, both mean present. You can say sana hediye getirdim. Sana arman getirdim. Or sana özel bir şey getirdim. It will make any person happy to get a present. Sen olmasan ne yapardım? What would I do without you? Sen olmasan ne yapardım? What would I do without you? Wow, very romantic, right? So you would like to use this phrase for who? Well, for me, I would like to use it for my mother, actually. Yeah. So I would like to say to her now. Sen olmasan ne yapardım? Ah, mother. <laughs> Hello, are you watching? <laughs> Yaşını göstermiyorsun. You don't show your age. Yaşını göstermiyorsun. You don't show your age. Um, I know this sentence, I know this one, this phrase makes many people happy. But when I was in Turkey, for example, they always um, told me that I don't look my age. So I look younger and I really hate that. I don't know why, because I think in Turkey, we don't have a very like sweet, cute look, but we instead we prefer more like a cool, serious or more like a womanish look. And if I look like a teenager, even though I'm a university student, then I'm not going to be happy about it, right? So I think um, if you say this phrase to everyone, then it doesn't mean that it will make everyone happy. But of course, if you say it to like a maybe middle-aged person, like 30, 40, if you say, oh, you look younger or you don't look your age, then I think it will make those people happy. 
yaşını göstermiyorsun.